I'm here with the star and director of the new film, Brixby Bear, Kyle Mooney and Dave McCary. Welcome to the show, guys. Hey, Lola. Hey. How are you? Handshakes. I love it. I love it. So let's talk about your new film. It's awesome. I had a great time. Oh, it was thanks. actually surprisingly more poignant than I expected it to be, but also a lot funnier than I expected it to be. Because when you hear the premise is essentially a kid who's been kidnapped, you're not like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Sure. That is very <laughs> kind of you. Thank uh, you. Well, that's the best. That's great. That's what we wanted. I mean, to be surprised anyway is fun, and uh, we made the best movie we could, we and we hope best. that people uh, react similarly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, someone asked me to describe it, and I said it's a, a cross between Room and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. I think that's pretty fair. <laughs> Those yeah. are good reference points. I think we also talked a lot about Truman Show and mm -hmm. Elf, and uh, there's a movie called Being There, which is a Hal Ashby Peter Sellers film? Any, yeah. Any well, then there's, I mean, the, the movie is about a guy who's obsessed with this TV show, Briggs Bear, and there's the star of the show right there. Uh, so the other things we thought about were just the shows that kind of influenced the TV show within the movie, which were things like Teddy Ruxpin, yeah. uh, this Winnie the Pooh show on, Di on the Disney Channel I used to love in the 80s called Welcome to Pooh Corner, uh, as well as Dumbo Circus. But we, we got to throw in a lot of um, a lot of the things we loved when we were kids. <laughs> so, you guys have been Sorry. friends since fourth grade, is that correct? Uh, no, we did not like each other uh, in elementary school. We've known each other that long. Okay. Sixth grade is where we kind of actually started getting along with each other. We were in the same carpool as well. So did you have beef in fourth grade and worked it out in fifth he grade? Had, he I had, had beef, beef with me. No, he was a very funny kid from what I heard, but I didn't have a class with him but I was threatened by the existence of another funny kid. This is just like an immature uh, situation on my behalf. And I think I was rude to Kyle at uh, recess, or no, bef before school. I I'm mortified and I'm, I'm very sorry. And I'd like to use this forum. Okay, this is actually you. big. This is What's big happening? for us. Okay. <laughs> Kyle, I am so sincerely sorry for that experience. And I think it's time for you and I to have a hug. Uh, and I, and <laughs> thank you for saying that. I want to say in, in front of you, Lola, and, and everybody watching, um, you're not forgiven. What? <laughs> can we talk about Mark Hamill being in this film? No. Oh. Yeah, we can. <laughs> no, come on. Of course of we can. Of course we can. I'm assuming he was a childhood hero, correct? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a massive Star Wars fan, and uh, yeah, it was rather intimidating having him around. And just for people who haven't watched the film, he plays your character's father, mm -hmm. he kidnaps you, he and his wife kidnap you when you're a child, and hide you away in a bunker, convince you that the outside world is a terrible place to be, you believe it until you're found He also later. produces the TV show, Briggs v. Bear, just for me, and essentially as a way to brainwash me. Unbeknownst to you at the time. Correct, but, I, yeah. <laughs> and you yeah. still don't know the answer you still don't to this know. day. No, I do. <laughs> so you guys made this during your break from SNL. So yeah. what are you going to do on your next break? Well, our next break, I guess, will be next summer, right? Uh, I think it has to be. Do this all over. Do just remake the movie. <laughs> the same movie. Just try to do it a little better if we uh, can. No, I think we want to keep on making movies too, like like Brigsby Bears All. Oh. <laughs> or you had a, you said something really funny before we started. Uh, shooting, what did you say? I well, we, we said he was a troublemaker, and you and called you him a... A bad news bear. Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, but yes, we want to keep on making movies together. Kyle and Dave, thanks so much for being here. And Brixby Bear is in theaters in New York and L.A. July 28th, and then more places after that.